Hey, this is Kurt over at Wrigley Video Productions again. Uh, I see a lot of questions about DLSR footage and Adobe Premiere CS5. Uh, again, I didn't shoot DLSR footage myself, but uh, through the magic of the internet, I went went around and download, downloaded a couple clips from the Canon uh, 5D Mark II. And uh, here's one of the clips. And if you look in the info panel, you'll see it's 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second. And they're both actually the same same resolution. So <clears throat> I will go to New Sequence, untwirl the digital SLR uh, category, and choose the 1080p 30 sequence. And if I drop these clips in there, You see that they they come up with a yellow line, and playback is nice and smooth. I'll just throw a transition between these clips. Give myself some tails, and just Control D to put a dissolve in there and I will go full screen. Oh, that was too slow. And that dissolve is nice and smooth. Okay, um, I'm gonna throw in title here. And twirl this down so I have more room. Stretch a title across and show you that it still plays back real smooth. So this is cool because uh, when uh, the DLSR started shooting video footage, uh, typically you need to convert them to something else to play back in real time in a lot of editors. And this is Premiere Pro CS5 editing this in real time right off the camera. Uh, with no conversion or anything and it's it's just playing back real smooth at full resolution let me show you that so we are playing back at full resolution and uh, we can add some effects because of the CUDA capabilities of Premiere Pro um, put the title on there and I'll tell you what the second clip is is just a bird being filmed against the sky. So I'm going to put that on top of this other clip. And just because it's so much fun, go after the ultra gear. And I'm sure this clip was not shot for the purpose of, of green screen. It's just a, a bird against a blue sky, but the sky is so consistent, I think it'll probably work pretty well. Uh, so go up to the ultra keyer, choose the eyedropper, and just sample the the blue color there. And there's a little bit of fringing around the bird, so um, I can go in and play with a lot of these individual settings, or I can use one of the defaults and just say use aggressive. And let me just zoom in on this, so you can see this is pretty good pretty good key with just a couple clicks. Of course the best thing about this key is when I play it back I'll go full screen for you. It's a real-time preview. Full resolution and uh, uh, playing back live here it is just buttery smooth. I don't know if you're able to see that through uh, YouTube or not with the compression but it's playing back real smooth. And we can even throw in some uh, We'll do some color correction here. On oh, the bottom clip, we will just uh, let's just turn the saturation all the way down and make it black and white, and show you that it will still play back smoothly and in real time. So this is some DLSR footage in Premiere Pro CS5 playing back natively with with no conversion. Thanks for watching.